Hello everyone, this is Waldorf. Yeah, this is Stalin. This is Battle Report 328. 328. Got the Orcs and Goblins versus the Demon Legions. The Matt Demon Legions. <laughs> Fill a bunker. <laughs> Played at somebody's house. Fill a bunker. Yes. It wasn't the Statler bunker, it was the Fill a bunker. Fill a bunker. Yes. That's what you came up with. Fill a okay. bunker. Yeah, come on. <laughs> it kind of rolls off the tongue. All righty. The fill a bunker. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. This was uh, four of us met over at somebody's house. Um, <laughs> just, some, just some random person. Just some random just guy's pulled, house. I don't, I don't know how he felt up about and that. Took your mask out and scared them away. Exactly. <laughs> we wore our masks the whole time, so, you know, you couldn't even see who we were, technically. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, I'm playing the same list I've been playing. Uh, Wait a minute! You weren't you weren't you weren't the guy that stormed the Capitol with the uh, with the uh, the shaman. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> with the helmet, and, I have no idea what you're talking okay. about. So, just checking. I could not have been that person. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I took uh, bring the pain, swarm of insects, break the spirit, waken the beast, and totemic summons. Okay. And guess what? I've got my models with me this time. <laughs> you sure? You mean your models are pieces of paper? Nope. Okay. I got my real model. So he's got the Kalima Deceiver, who's a deceiving thing. Centipede legs, chitinous scales, piercing spike, unnatural roots, venom sack, and protean magic. Mm -hmm. He's got a harbinger of Father Chaos with chitinous scales, hammer hand, piercing spike, venom sack, and a burning wheel. Okay. And this guy, who I don't like. <laughs> the guy. Miser of Sugalug. Mm hmm. So the lag, mm -hmm. who has charged tendrils, dark hide, dexterous tentacles, hammer hand, living shield, smothering coils, unnatural roots, and he's an apprentice of divination. Yep. What this means, though, of course, if you're seeing what I'm seeing, is he has two spells. <laughs> um, moving on. Yes. He's got, but he can store six dice, six tokens. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, he's got twelve myrmidons with the champion of standard. They have piercing spikes. Okay. Fourteen lemures with nothing. Mm -hmm. 11 succubi with a champion of standard, 11 imps with a musician, three bloat flies, one of them's a champ, a titan slayer chariot, which my uh, spider does not like, hope harvester. It with depends a, whose charges. <laughs> yeah. Spoke, hope harvester with a segmented shell, a blazing glory, six hellhounds, and eight eidolons, both those with incendiary gur. So his two spells, he took um, Spectral Blades and Know Thy Enemy. You know, that's what it is. He can throw a ton of dice at both of them, and <laughs> okay. I can stop one. So, I mean, two spells isn't terrible if you like both your spells, but means at most you're getting one spell off a turn, or unless on... something really weird happens. Yeah, at most, because it also depends on the, how the dice fall. Yeah, but I mean, he usually has up on dice on me, so he can yeah, split. But he, but he can only put so many in one spell. Now, if he fails to cast one, and, then and it's a you, problem. And do you really want to blow up one of your big expensive characters? He did, apparently didn't care. <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. He apparently didn't care about that. So, um, here we are. He dropped everything to go first. We uh, are playing, <laughs> oddly enough, the uh, battle line. Oh, oh sorry. We're playing um, Dawn Attack, Hold the Center. So from the, I can't deploy on the bottom right, he can't deploy on the top left. Okay. Um, so that's what we got. And so on his, it's kind of hard to tell, but the three bloat flies are on the far left, and behind them is a blazing glory. Um, the unit, next unit to the, moving to the left is the Lemures with a Titan Slayer chair right behind them. 11 imps with the Hope Harvester in the center. Okay. 12, yeah, 12 Myrmidons? 12 Myrmidons with the Succubi behind them. Okay. Warhounds over in front of the building. And mm -hmm. the next one is the Harbinger. Okay. The Flying Harbinger on the wheel. Now his uh, scouts have not deployed, including his, uh, the Master Miser, the Miser of Sugalug. Because he has dark hide, make giving him scout. Okay. Um, and then scouts and vanguard. The miser has shown up over here, behind kind of behind the boat flies. Okay. 
and the Eidolons over here on the far it's right. The far right, yeah. And the um, Harbinger has, I guess, has uh, Vanguard. So he moved forward. Okay. Something he has might give him Vanguard. I don't know. He moved forward. That's okay. All I know. Um, I, I don't remember what he took. So, yeah. so it's going to be, um, just to <laughs> let you know now, some of the pictures are a little odd. The boat flies skirmish? No, they're supposed to be packed together. Okay. Um, the, um, the lighting in here was a little odd, and it made my camera act a little weird. Okay. So you'll see some odd things a little bit later. Okay. I mean... I yeah. think it's odd that you broke into people's house and you had your own terrain. <laughs> well, I broke, we brought it with us. Yeah. What do you think? We were going to depend on them to have it? <laughs> in just some random house? All right. So there was no pictures taken on turn one, okay. on the top of turn one. You can see this is the bottom of turn one. He had moved forward to the position you see him there. Okay. In the bottom of turn one, I decided to charge the spider into the bloat flies. Um, spider is the least to be worried about the bloat flies because it's their toxic attacks need sixes to wound him. Okay. And, you know, he doesn't have that much armor to take away anyway. Yeah. So he's going to charge there. I debated on sending the chariots into his miser. I was debating it when I thought he was toughness six. <laughs> and then I noticed that he was toughness seven and the mm -hmm. debate was over. Okay. So just say it. <laughs> what would have mattered if you knew he was resilient seven? Resilient. Yes, it would have. <laughs> okay. That would have made the difference as well. Um, so like I said, you can see where he's coming forward with most of the stuff. The imps stayed back, uh, presumably to shoot. Um, he is within 24 of the wolf riders over here in front of my okay. line. Um, ta -da -ta -da, there we go there. There's some of the things I was telling you about with the camera did some blurry things at time yep. around the edges. Okay. Like a double shot. It's really weird. So, okay. so the spider charges in the bloat flies, the, um, Wolf Riders on the far left came up to keep the blazing glory out of that nonsense, you know, after the first round. And over on the right, the other Wolf Riders came up to keep the miser out. Oh, sorry, those are your Wolf Riders, okay. Up on the top left. Yeah, yeah I thought they were. Yeah, oh, I thought blurry. something it is, yeah. Yeah, because it looked blue from the... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, like I said, I screened off his two yep. units to come in and support, that were coming to support. Yep. And I figure I can take those out. You know, like I said, I think I'll, I'll hurt them. I should finish him up on his turn, and now I can charge mm -hmm. things and be where I want to be. It's my idea. Anyway. It's a question how that acid bud does. <laughs> Again, it needs sixes. I'm yeah. not that worried about it. Um, what do we got uh, here? Just got to move forward a little yeah, bit in the center. Your flank. And like I said, the black orcs turning, and mm -hmm. the Eidolons had shot off one oh, war, the knights. Okay. war boy Knight, early. War boy, yeah. Okay. So nothing major, um, but. He did shift more to the left, and you can see the Harbinger has moved off mm -hmm. to the far right. Nice spot, hiding behind the, the ruins. <laughs> yeah, even though the ruins don't do much for hiding you. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, just makes it so you don't want to charge them. I don't, definitely don't want to charge them. <laughs> that is a good point. Um, I had a problem. I had all this calculated out, and my spider wiped them. Okay. This was not what I planned. What did you plan? I planned on killing a couple and them sticking around. Ah, okay. But he wiped them. Okay. The poison attack hit and did four wounds. Okay. Killing one right out, which really I was in oh, bad shape. Oh, your poison looks like he put two wounds on you. He did put two wounds back on me, but I'm not thrilled with this result. Okay. I did not want this. All right. Um, moving on. So the spider didn't like that, so he overran up to here. Before the... Um, Titan Slayer Chariot was going to be able to charge me without going into the woods. This way, it's forcing it into the woods. Yay. Which one's the Titan Actually, Slayer? Actually, it's not really even forcing it to it. The one in the back. Back right. Um, he can still come forward oh, if he there. wants. So why'd you move forward then? What? He Earlier, he could have charged me without going into the woods. Mm -hmm. So okay. I moved forward. And he's going to hit me either way. Right, right. I couldn't keep him off me because I okay. was too successful in my fighting. Yeah. Um, so I moved forward so he would have to come into the woods to get me. That's my thought. Anyway. So we go to turn two. But how would that have been different if you were stuck there? I'm not if, understanding. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll show you later. But okay. there's a there's a way. I, anyway, if you're stuck in combat, I, I, I see he screamed. 
But anyway, I'll show okay. you. Um, so that's what it is on his turn. Um, he declares a charge with both the Blazing Glory and the Titan Slayer Chariot into okay. both flanks of my spider. Okay, that doesn't seem good. Um, <laughs> there's a very blurry thing of his Harbinger taking a... Well, you were fighting against uh, Matt Damon legions, you know. This, it's, they, it's, yeah, it is the, it's the <laughs> eerie effect they exactly. have. Exactly, weird we... things happen, you know. <laughs> so, the veil is uh, veiling. Yeah, he decides to charge the uh, Harbinger into my... Launches forward into my uh, bolt thrower. Wow, that's really far. It's pretty far. Okay. I think he needed an 11 or 12. I'm not okay. sure which. I was hoping that you would tear or something. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, both these guys make it. Um, that uh, looks very much like a stegodon. It does look a little <laughs> bit like a stegodon, doesn't it? I'm just saying. <laughs> um, so they both made it in. And the other one kind of um, he elected not to charge the wolf riders with the miser for whatever reason. Okay. Um, he left them there. The harbinger failed his charge. Okay. And actually didn't move because he was already an inch behind the eidolons. Like as I said, it looked like he backed up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then the eidolons came forward into the ruins. Okay. Since they're skirmish, they don't care about the ruins. Yeah. They come forward and decide to shoot. I forgot what Do they shot at that turn. I think they shot at the ironworks and okay. didn't do anything, I, I recall. Know. Something with armor. Um, <laughs> there we go. Oh, no. Oh. He decided to kill two yeah. more boar boys okay. with him. And did a good job of it, mm -hmm. since that was his decision. <laughs> um, over here, the two guys that slapped into the sides of me. Spider actually managed to do three wounds to the Blazing Glory, but it disappeared. So his Blazing Glory is basically a wood elf dragon without wings. That's an interesting idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the uh, the okay. wolf riders didn't like that at all, and so they, they ran off the they board. They panic. Oh, they're off the table. Okay. Yeah. I just left them there. To... But, but the other ones didn't. War boys don't care. No, the other wolf riders. Oh, no, the they stood. They were within 12. Okay. <laughs> they managed to stick around. Okay. <laughs> um, so that's what it looks like going yeah. into... Then they just turn to face you. Okay. Yeah, and the things just turned back in. Mm -hmm. Um, the Blazing Glory is facing the Boar Riders off to the left. Oh, okay. Just to keep them honest, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, and that's it. Going into my turn two. Okay. My turn two? Well, you know, it's been doing this a lot lately. So let's go. So the Boar, Boar Riders on the left are going to charge the Blazing Glory. Okay. It's got three wounds on it, so it's only strength, it's only weapon skill four now. Right. Um, well, I got a problem is my Wolf Riders are in my way, so they're going to charge the flank of the Blazing Glory. Which clears out the way for the chariots and right. the boar riders to charge into his Lemures. Oh, you going? Both are going to Lemures. Both are going to Lemures. I called the war cry at this point. Okay. Um, both those are going into the Lemures. The chariots on the hill, and we'll get a reroll um, if they need it. They needed a. They need only needed a six with a reroll. I'm sorry. So what's this thing? He, what's behind the 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 wolf riders? The miser. That's the miser. That's okay. the miser there. Okay. Um, I'm really counting heavy on both these units hitting the the mirrors and blowing through them. Yeah. yeah. And in his turn, you don't see it, but he had removed his um, his deceiver was with the Lemures, and on his turn had moved out and is mm -hmm. back there to the top left somewhere. Um, I'm curious how you're going to get these guys in there. <laughs> uh, over here, the um, Ed Bashers need to roll a seven. To get into the Myrmidons. Okay. And the Iron Iron Orcs need a 10 to get into them. And they're going for the Myrmidons also? Both are going for the Myrmidons. Because okay. I'm looking at that. Myrmidons are closer. If I hit the Myrmidons with You'll both units, I think the, I'll overrun yeah. into the other guys. At least with the one, okay. And then the Iron or I'm sorry, the Ed Bashers overrun into the uh, Succubi. Right. From that position. And the, to round it off because they needed... the. the <laughs> They didn't have anyone else to charge. The two boar boys have to go at the, the uh, Eidolons. Yep, they're better fighting than they are. Getting better shot fighting at. them off than just sitting there. So okay. yeah. And look at that. So the boar boys and the wolf riders make it into the blazing glory. The chariots get in there I'm with a challenge. Seeing how that blazing glory is aligned to you, but okay. I'm not up against it because okay. he's too much stuff hanging off the front of him. Oh, I see. I okay. should be up forward with the okay. boar boys. Okay. The wolf riders are right up on him. Um, the chariots and the boar boys make it in over here on the, in the Lemures. You didn't have to cross them or you didn't? Or I didn't want to cross them. 
I'm just looking at maximizing figures. Um, don't know if I could have. It's mm -hmm. a good point. But based on where they were, I probably couldn't. Um, so anyway, so the, the chariots go in, slap him there. I only got one file of boar boys in. So not a lot, but the general will shift down and hopefully make up for the lack of models with lots of attacks. Okay. Um, off on the right, both the two units make it in over there. There we go. The Iron Orcs and the Ed Bashers both will make it into the Myrmidons. And <laughs> the one downside to the whole turn. <laughs> Four boys made the, made the targe distance, made it to the edge of the ruins, yeah, and... Saw that coming. Decided he, <laughs> didn't, know, want, yeah. he didn't want to go anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, I would have been happy even with one in there. <laughs> um, these guys actually killed the... Finished off the Blazing Glory. Well, he only had a few wounds left, right? It only had two wounds yeah. left. So I managed to sneak in the two wounds. Yeah. He uh, only killed one uh, boar boy, okay. which was a little surprising. I thought I would take more damage than that. But he does only have, what, five attacks? Yeah, and their weapon skills down, but yeah. Yeah, hitting me on threes. And he's... Mm, yeah. Anyway, so we got that. Um, <laughs> I wanted to overrun with the boar boys, and tie up the Titan Slayer chariot. But somebody was in the way. But even with a 12 overrun, the Wolf Riders would not have cleared my well. frontage. So I did not. They both ended up reforming. Um, there we go. There's his Deceiver up there on the top left. Okay. He left last turn. Um, these two guys, I got off Awake and the Beast on the chariots. Between that and the Boar Rider, the General and the Boar Riders, we'd wipe the unit. Okay. So, base, there we go. Clunk. And Overrun puts the Boar Riders into the Imps. And the Chariots dash through to get out of the, the um, Miser's charge arc. Right. Um, but the Deceiver can see you? The Deceiver can, is looking to the... Actually, the Deceiver is looking straight down the board, but oh. can see the back corner of the Chariots. Oh, so can. Okay. Um, which is not good, but it's what it is. Okay. Um, so all that kind of went as expected so far. Mm -hmm. I wasn't that I would, I was not convinced I was going to beat the blazing glory on the right, on the left. But I thought yeah, I, figured, I thought I would, I would stick him. because I had enough coming in that I do at least a wound and Just your static charge and stuff. Was something a problem for him? Right. Um, so then, oops, back to there. Nope. We're missing a combat over here on the left. This is the one that disappointed me a lot. How about on the right? On the right, the Myrmidon <laughs> stood. Okay. So, and I think there's three or four left. Okay. So I really just whiffed on the Myrmidons. Okay. I thought I would do, I thought I would blow through the Myrmidons and the Iron Orcs would hit the Hounds and the, and the Ed Bashers would be either on or right in front of the yeah, Succubi. Yeah, because only Resilience 3, so. Yeah, I expected to plow through them. Mm -hmm. um, but. You know, not everything goes white. Yeah, yeah. So, going into turn three, top of turn three, I've scored a point for the uh, center of the board. Okay. And that's what we have. He's that's what he's looking at. So, oh, and if you notice, the uh, I see cards on things, but whatever. Yeah, but also down here, the Doom Diver is facing backwards as it misfired and. Okay. I assume these are your spells. He's not. He's not being successful in blocking them. He is not. Well, he's getting off. I'm letting. Like he was or casting one, spectral one blades. Them, one of them is his. Okay. Actually, both those are mine because yeah. break the spirits. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, awaken I see, the beast I see up two top. Spells break the spirit the on his miser. Yeah. yeah. If you notice, <laughs> here's the interesting. Notice where the back left corner of his miser is. Mm -hmm. Just the very toe of it is in yeah, the woods. Is in the woods. Yep. So <laughs> he wanted. He originally declared a charge at my uh, mm -hmm. bolt thrower on the hill, and I was like, "You sure?" He's like, "What do you mean?" I was like, "Well, you got to break the spirit on you." He's like, "Yeah, whatever. I'll try it. If I don't make it, I only take the open terrain, right?" And I was like, "Well, your toes in the woods, mm -hmm. and it's worse if you make it because now if you make it, you take the woods, the clear, and the hill." Yeah. So he quickly decided not to do that. Mm -hmm. um, the Titan Slayer chariot charged the Wolf Riders. Okay. Wolf Riders are uh, another good target for the Titan Slayer chariot, turns out. Okay. They, they don't think they can stand up to that, so they flee. 
uh, because they're in Congo formation, they don't go very far, but I'm okay. Okay. Because again, he comes and hits me, and he's right there with his flank on to the boar boys up on the top left. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and he charges into the flank of your. The deceiver up on the chariots. top. Okay. Up on the top, charging the flank of my chariots, which is. It's going to be painful. It is. I looked at the. Uh, the, re, the at, least, at least they're cheap. Yeah. 300 points. I looked at the flea from that charge. <laughs> and all three chariots go through the imps. Two of the chariots go through the next unit down. You know, it was just yeah. a nightmare. So I decided to stick. Um, <laughs> he's charging your yeah. bolt thrower. Apparently again. hasn't learned his lesson. He's going to try to charge the bolt thrower again. Okay. Um, and here. The hounds charge into your. And the hounds clear it up, you know, charge the two inches into the that iron orcs. That doesn't seem like that's going to be comfortable. They're only strength three. I'm not that worried about it. I mean, for him. Oh, <laughs> um, good yeah. point. So, um, a Titan Slayer chariot coming out of the woods did hit the uh, wolf riders, caught them, killed them where it touched them, and then about faced, you know, so spun now, around to face the boar So boys. now he's facing the boar boys. Okay. Right. And he brought his big guy up. And... I thought at this point with the miser facing the boar boys, the That'd Titan Slayer enough. should have turned around and faced the, the center. bolt thrower at least, or <laughs> yeah. the center... Mm -hmm. Wherever, but anyway. Um, so we got that. Those those guys coming in. Eidolons, I don't think they've moved yet. Looks like his, his looks like his blazing I'm sorry, he's didn't make it to the bolt tour. <laughs> his what? Oh no, he his, this guy did not he failed his yeah. charge for a second turn. This time at least he moved a little bit closer on the failed charge. The first yes. time he couldn't, but So now we got um, so he got spectral blades off on his guys of the imps. Okay. Um but And that's behind What's that? That um, character or whatever it is is behind him. It's not in the unit, right? The character. The big thing with the bell looking thing. I don't know what it is. Oh, that's the Hope Harvester. Okay. Is it in his unit? It's or? a corpse cart. It's in the unit. It is in the unit. There's okay. 11 imps in the corpse cart. Okay. I'm sorry. 11 imps in the Hope Harvester. Okay. <laughs> not corpse cart. Um, it is a corpse cart, but it's okay. a Hope Harvester in this game. Okay. It is there. Okay. Yeah. So it is there. So he's got a little bit of fighting ability. Um, yeah. Um, over here, the Eidolons come out of the, out of the ruins and move forward to shoot off whatever they feel like. Uh, they decide to shoot off the bolt thrower and they okay. do. And in the center, the boar boys just destroy this unit. He gets his attacks. They, they wiped out, they did exactly 11 wounds. So they wiped out the entire imps. Yeah, they're only two, so. And, uh. The Hope Harvester crumbled away. Yeah, you put all the wounds in the imps and killed them. Yeah. Correct. Yep, that's the way you do it. And then he did kill two of me on his way out with the Hope Harvester, not with the imps, of course. The imps okay. never got to attack. And uh, I turned a bit to face this unit. And, you fa and he killed your chariots with his deceiver? His deceiver. You can see them over there to the right. Oh, he didn't kill. He did only, I think he only did two or three wounds. Okay. They fled and took a couple more wounds. I think I took four more wounds through terrain and oh, stuff. Oh, wow. That's... Um, so and he, he chased you, but didn't catch you. He didn't catch He elected not to chase me, I oh, think. not to ca chase you. Maybe okay. he did, or maybe he chased me a little bit. Okay. Um, the, but he did. He must have, because the chariots were farther yeah, over. Yeah, chariots were farther over. Just really um, badly. And I, I did this fight. We had done this fight first. Mm -hmm. So the boar boys turned like you see them because, you know, over there, I think that we've got the, uh, <laughs> we've got the other guys, right. the Myrmidons. Um, but it turns out, um, uh, those guys went there. Turns out we don't have the Myrmidons. I believe there was one left. No, maybe they killed no, them all. Like nope, they killed them all. Looks like everything's dead. I don't see anything in front of you. Oh, so no, they, there, there are some dogs in front of you still. So they crushed the Myrmidons and then it went to my turn. Right. Okay. We fought the, the Boar Boys charged because that was an overrun last right. turn. So, um, I've only got one point at this time for the center, and I was not comfortable with that, so I charged the general out at the deceiver, left the oh. unit behind, because okay. I figured he was going to cha challenge me anyway, mm -hmm. and I'm giving him two extra attacks by having him two other But he models. has no points, right? Touching him. What's that? He has none for the center yet. Okay. Um, this is turn, like, three? Three or yes. Okay. Yeah, bottom of three, I believe. Um, and like I said, the uh, Ed Bashers are going to go into the succubi. Mm -hmm. 
And I think there's one dog left. I think that's what it was. It was like there's like three. Is there three? Or maybe even four. Know. Know. Yeah, okay. Tell. Anyway. Blurry pictures. Yeah. Um, so everybody makes it in. They get up around there. The um, Boar Boys. The Boar Boys just backed up three and a half. Okay. Just opened the distance. Failed their march or just. Nope. They had a musician. Decided. They could have about faced and moved, but I didn't want to go that far back. Mm. I wanted to tempt him into coming out, yeah, to okay. tell you the yeah. truth. Keep him out of the middle. <clears throat> the boar rider uh, failed his uh, morale, I mean, his rally, which is a four. Okay. Um, understandable table. and runs off the table. Would have liked to have him around for yeah, another four turn. Four dogs, yeah. The, um, the chariots, re-rollable six, don't rally. Mm -hmm. Keep moving towards the edge. The BSB right there in the front corner of the Ed Bashers was within 12 okay. of them, but didn't help. Over on the left-hand side... What do we got? Just a, Just a picture. blurry picture we could have gotten rid of. And the right-hand side, stuff still there. Nothing's really changed. What am I got? It's like your okay. boys just turned around. So um, <laughs> the bolt thrower decides to hit, puts the last two wounds on the Titan Slayer chariot, killing okay. it. That's well, always nice. Um, yeah, it's always You probably didn't notice it behind the hill. You had him cheating the way he had a position. Kind of sneaky there. Yeah. Um, and like I said, yeah, you're right. The Boar Boys had moved up closer to the center to make sure mm -hmm. I get the second point for it. If you get two points, I feel more comfortable okay. than one. Um, well, you wipe these guys out, you just move back there and get it. If I wipe them out. So the, <laughs> the Iron Orcs finally polished off the dogs. Mm -hmm. They turn it into the face. The Ed Bashers take a beating. Uh, from the succubi. Is it just succubi? Yeah, nothing in there with them. Oh, he put spectral blades on? He had spectral blades, but, you know, re-roll the wounds. It's mm -hmm. not, you know, armor doesn't kill me that much. Anyway, so we're going to go to turn four. It's his turn. Uh, Titan, <laughs> the miser, charges the boar boys. I elected to flee. Oh, really? And uh, I needed a nine to get off the board. Fortunately, I only rolled an eight. So okay. I stayed on the board for another turn. So you got what you wanted anyway. I did. <laughs> Very much so. Yeah. Um, and I, my general charged into his deceiver. Mm -hmm. We did two wounds to each. Each okay. of us took two wounds from that. All right. I felt a little, I thought that was a little low for me. I thought I could kill it or at least well, do three, okay. but whatever, did not. Um, there you go. He failed. He failed to reach me. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Um, and what do we got over here? Okay, so now his um, harbinger that was over here on the far right is finally mm -hmm. coming back in towards the center of the board. Yep. Get back into the fight. The, the Ed Bashers start to make up for their... Terrible okay. performance in the first different, round. Different angle of photo, okay. And, and if I switch the angle, they do better, apparently. Yeah. Um, so there's only one left. So they're going to fight a little bit better. Um, but uh, at that point, the deceiver drops my general. Yep. I wasn't thrilled with that result. Um, not liking that, <laughs> the Ed Basher Boar Boys decided to head out of town. Mm -hmm. They're not too thrilled. And that's where that's going to end up. So, wonderful. <laughs> going into my turn. Um, my turn, the... Are those your rolls? They are. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> they managed at 11 to rally, which, as you probably are aware, would fail. And then they managed to roll a 12 for distance, which, guess what? Got them within one inches of the Eidolons. Guess oh. what happens when you get within one inch of the Eidolons? Oh, the... What was your reroll? Uh, probably a twelve. I don't remember. It was <laughs> they, they failed their reroll. Yeah. And again, they went. They rolled. They moved twelve, which mm -hmm. is what they. I think that what they need. I think eleven would have done it as well. But yeah. ten or lower would have not gone through the eidolons. Yeah. Hit the eidolons, and if you notice from the positioning, there's nowhere to stop once well, you hit the eidolons. Well, if you lose three of them, maybe. If I would have lost three of them to <laughs> running through the running eidolons. through the eidolons, which I did not. <laughs> mm. Um, and they're off the board. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, on the bright side, 
the these boar boys rallied. Okay. <laughs> Not sure what that does for me, but they rallied. And the chariots rallied. <laughs> Okay. But the other guy could not. Um, wonderful stuff. Why are the chariots facing the way they're facing? Because the they want to face that way. They're facing in towards the center. Yeah. Um, but they want to face that way in case the, what's its name, the Harbinger charges the Iron Orcs, then they can get him. Okay. Or if the if he charges the Ed Bashers, they can go get him there. Wherever he goes. Okay. If the, if. If he gets into the fight, mm -hmm. they can come after. That's one was one what you're thinking was. Okay. And he can't see me, so Right. Which way is it? oh he's facing He's facing the Iron Orcs. He's facing the Iron Orcs. Or okay. actually yeah. right at the Ed Bashers yeah. currently. Okay. Um so we're gonna go into turn five with that looking at that. He put, he doesn't have wings on him, does he? He does. He's got the burning wheel thing. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um so the uh miser is getting really irritated and decides to charge once again. Okay. This time I stood and took it. Okay. Uh, over here, both the Deceiver and the Har Harbinger charge into the, into the Ed Bashers. Yep. It's three Ed Bashers and a BSB is who's left at this mm -hmm. point. Okay. Um, the Eidolons come up and put a couple more wounds. Or put a couple more wounds on my... Do they have four wounds? It's got six total. I mean... It, I mean it's got four wounds on it right now. That's what then. I meant. Yes. Yeah, so it's more than a couple. It's four wounds. Um, okay. I think I already had two for myself, though, okay. or one for myself. I don't remember. Anyway. No, it was just facing backwards. Okay. Right. So they did four. Um, both the characters made it into my Ed Bashers up top. Okay. Not good news for them. Uh, there it is. So they, this was must have been their second round of shooting. Okay. They take me off. The, <laughs> the miser that had been so scared of the whole game does a wound. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Which is just embarrassing. Was, was it enough or was it or did you have a standard and it was a tie? I did not have a standard. Oh, okay. He had a charge and a wound. Oh he had two anyway, yeah. Right. Um here the deceiver killed my BSB, which is okay. another one I didn't quite think should happen. Okay. I could be wrong. Well, they're not to be trifled with. I mean he has four attacks. Yeah. He got three wounds Five, through. Right? He has base one and got three from the BSB. Yeah, okay. So, well, he yeah. also has hammer hand, doesn't he? Don't remember if that guy had a hammer hand yeah, or not. Okay. Maybe even if he does, that's five, mm -hmm. and he's got to get three through. And I've got a five up, five up versus him. Yeah. So, I don't know. If they all hit, they all wound. Then I've got five up, five ups. Yeah. I didn't think I should die. Mm -hmm. I did. What am I going to do? Um, and the uh, Arbinger White wipes the rest of the unit. Okay. Because I really wanted to be able to attack with that stupid guy because he has. Even though he has three attacks on his profile, which is what the Deceiver steals, mm -hmm. I have the paired weapons, which he doesn't, you know, right. get to steal that. So I have four there. I have the um, Kingslayer. So I had six attacks mm -hmm. at strength six going back at that Deceiver. So right. I was with battle focus as well. So, you know, yeah, I yeah. Thought, thought I had a decent chance of killing the last two wounds on it and dropping it. Mm -hmm. But I, I knew I was going to die from combat res because of the Arbinger. But right. And if you notice, I didn't even manage to get, you know, I didn't get to attack, didn't so I didn't get attack, to kill so the finish off succubi. The succubi. So there's still a succubi left. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you guys are facing the wrong direction. What's that? <laughs> Your iron orcs are facing the wrong direction. Yeah, because I faced him last time, so he couldn't charge me in the rear. Yes. <laughs> um, and that's where they shot off that. Yep. I want to see that again. That. I wanted to make sure I pointed that out. <laughs> um, over here, they, they actually stood. <laughs> That's funny. At minus two. Look, he killed another one. Actually, I think they're minus three because he <laughs> yeah. causes fear as well. Mm, yeah. Um, if not terror. So, uh, and that's what we got there going into the bottom of turn five. That's what it looks like. So, what are we going to do about this? 90. What's this doing? There. Go. Oops. There we go. Uh, so the chariot's going to charge into the harbinger. Into the harbinger, okay. Yeah, he had positioned him. He was careful enough to position him so that you couldn't quite get to the. Uh, I if I the harbinger succubi. Yeah, I could get the succubi with one chariot because I when I pivot around the harbinger, I could only get one to touch it, which mm -hmm. I could have blown it out. Yeah, you would have. But then I couldn't overrun into couldn't the deceiver. Couldn't overrun into the deceiver, okay? Right. So I decided to try. 
try the impact hits on the Ar Arbinger and mm -hmm. see if I could get a little bit lucky with them, and hopefully the Iron Orcs will come later and mop up. Is kind of the hope. Yeah. Uh, look at this. Unfortunately, I <laughs> lost here. He killed me at 800 point monstrosity. Finally got my 160 points. <laughs> <laughs> um, we came in and we actually did two wounds to it. A little less than what I was hoping for. He did two wounds to you. He did, uh, yeah, I think he only did two to me because I think yeah. I had three on the other one already. Um, so, and we're going to go into turn six. Okay. The two is my two points for the center, which I'm, you know, fine. Which means it's a mine on turn six. Yep. Um, because even if the succubi marches over there, it's not going to help. one, yep. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, that's what it looks like at the start. What do we got? His. <laughs> so he did a, this is a really smart move on his part. He moved the, he charged with the succubi into the rear of the chariot, okay. into the side of the chariot. Right. Hit me back here, knowing that the harbinger is going to kill me. And he can overrun, and I have to fight with the Iron Orcs on my turn. Mm -hmm. And he basically pins me. So I don't get to fight the Harbinger with the Iron Orcs. Mm -hmm. um, and he moves the Deceiver, flies over there to the corner where you see her. Okay. Out of the way. Um, I take a pot shot at the very end with the... Uh, oh, no, he's moved up at this point. Because he's moving up to try to shoot you. Yeah, he's moved up to try to shoot me. And... He blows out my chariot. His guy does overrun and gets where he wants. I haven't done that yet. These guys, the Eidolons fire and put two wounds on the on the bolt thrower. The combat over here, of course, like I said, he blows out the chariot and the yeah, they makes it in. guy makes it in to pin the iron orcs. And that's where that ends. And, his and big the big guy is walking towards the center. <laughs> the big guy's finally walking. <laughs> Walking with his head down towards the center, like, oh, I got to kill those five poor boys. Um, and that's where it's going to end. Okay, so I get left as a bolt thrower and your iron orcs? That's it. Okay, he's definitely got you on points. He got me on points. It was actually a 14 to 6 mm -hmm. in points. But I do have the center, so I brought it back up to 11-9. There you go. So, again, <laughs> if you look at this picture, this is the one I was going to show you, which I was saying... My idea is if I kill one bloat fly, I've got no issues at all. If I kill two, I can move off to the left and get away from the Titan Slayer chariot. See what I'm saying? Uh, as long as there's one left, I can move the spider to the left in combat reform, mm -hmm. and he can't get me. Because yeah. I can cover my right corner, and if he goes around past the bloat fly... He can't wheel back in to get me. The Blazing Glory can come in if I kill if I kill two of them. The Blazing Glory can get to me, but right. I'm not that worried about the Blazing mm -hmm. Glory with its strength five attacks. Yeah. So that's why I thought I was safe. Yeah, I just I just didn't want to kill two. I didn't want to kill them all. If I could take if I could not attack with the big sting, right, <laughs> it would have worked out perfectly. Because he didn't even fail by that much as far as crumbling. Yeah. So, but anyway. See, so, yeah, I guess he, he may not have made it to you. Oh, I guess then he could send a Sugalog guy in, I guess. What's that? No, he can't get past the, right now, the Sugalog guy, the Miser can't get past the Wolf Riders. Um, oh, this is when you did that, yeah. No, I just think because Off he, on the right. It's just a chariot seems like it's a reasonable distance, not a great distance, but a reasonable distance through the woods. It That's looks it. a little bit more. Okay. Um, and then, again, the cards are blocking it, but... He had lined it up, and I don't, I don't know by luck or plan, but he had lined it up perfectly so that if the miser charges the wolf riders, mm -hmm. the Titan Slayer chariot comes forward right along the edge of the woods without touching them, oh, okay. wheels, and then comes into my. Oh, I see. It looked like yeah, it looked like it was going through the woods. No, nah, yeah. yeah, it's kind of covered by the okay. cards, but it, I checked on that as well. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm like, well, you know, I either get killed there, and then of course that brings everything closer to me. Sure, sure. If I'm there, and if he charges me in the woods, then he's got to charge out of the woods to get the next thing. Yeah. All little things I was looking for with mm -hmm. all that, but right. none of it worked. <laughs> mm -hmm. Again, 
I was too successful on the bloat flies mm -hmm. is my issue. And there you go. Like I said, now that that's when I'm just killed him. And you can see he's like, I don't know, 13 inches away from me with that Titan Slayer chariot as it stands right now. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, not good. So yeah, that was it. That was a thing. I thought I did a, I thought I did a decent job covering both flanks of the spider. Mm hmm Especially, again, the worst one was going to be the Titan Slayer, but yeah. Um, as it is, it came in and I think did. Oh, he hit me twice. He wounded me twice. Rolled two ones for wounds on it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't going to matter because he was going to kill me anyway, and he did. But for his multi wounds, he rolled one for each of them. All right. So should do multi wounds too, just to make it a little bit more <laughs> reliable. But I guess three. D3 gives you the scary factor. Yeah. Yeah. I, so, I, I suspect that'll go away when they do the books. They seem to be eliminating that. What's that? The random. Oh, random wounds? wounds? Yeah, a lot of them looks like they're twos. Hmm. Okay. Just, just a guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's going to do it. Like I said, though, Demons 11-9. All right. Not good for the orcs. Yeah. I'm not happy. <laughs> so anyway. All right. Thanks for listening. Till next time.